Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Welcome to Turtle Games Live. My name is Steven, and this is John Phelps the Titan. He's back. He's back for another round. He's ready to kill some aliens and do some Guardian stuff. So right now it's just me. Jake's going to be joining here in a few minutes. But for now... I thought I would just uh, give you guys some time to trickle in. And, if I'm being quite honest, I was bored. I was real bored. So, I decided to just go ahead and start. Hello. But, as, uh, as you guys might remember, we uh, started new characters on, on Destiny. Um, Jake started a new hunter. And I... started a Titan for the first time. And his name is John. John Phelps, the accountant, gone, guardian. Hey, Aaron. Thanks for tuning in. Again, sorry about uh, showing up so late to the um, Sim stream last night. Uh, I was I got really um, hooked on the one of the PlayStation Plus games for, of the month called Absolver, and um, I looked down at my phone. I didn't get the notification. He'd gone live, but I did see that Cool Cat was like, Aaron's live, and I was like, oh shoot, it's Wednesday, because I had yesterday off, because um, it was the 4th of July, and um, it didn't feel like a Wednesday. So I forgot entirely, because normally I go to work on Wednesdays, not only at my, um, my job in the mornings, but also at my church job, and um, I didn't go, because everything was cancelled since it was the 4th, and so it was a Saturday to me, but... It was not a Saturday, it was a Wednesday. And Aaronator, good buddy Aaron, was going live. And I, I just forgot all about it. But I uh, enjoyed what I got to see of the house. Looks great. I love the... At least from where I sat, it looked like blue and orange tile. Um, when in doubt, just go blue and orange. That's the color of Chortle. The Chortle games. Okay. We're going to go ahead and... Yeah, we might as well get started with the next mission. Actually, I'm going to do this event first, then we'll do the next mission. So for now, I am i don't have patrols yet, because I am but a mortal level... What level am I? 14. Little wimp I am. Oh. Uh, but hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a great 4th of July. I thought about doing a stream yesterday, but um, I was going to do a Broforce stream since, you know, nothing says um, 4th of July more than that game. But uh, no one else was available to play it, so I was like, eh, I'll take the day off. I might be going to see Ant-Man and the Wasp later tonight. I don't know if I am or not. But I am excited to see it. I just don't know if I'm going to go see it tonight. Gosh, this event is taking forever to show up. Okay. Oh, hey, Ish. I would totally raid with you right now, but um, we've actually got a really tight schedule on the stream today. We're doing an hour and a half or so of Destiny. Then we got to break off because uh, uh, Jake's going to see the movie, and I've got uh, going to see Ant-Man and the Wasp, and I've got other things that I need to do. Um, but I will definitely... I definitely would like to raid with you sometime once Jake and I get our gear up. Glad to see you stop in. Um, I don't know if you ever got the clan invite, but um, I think we sent you one. So if you ever want to join, if not, that's totally cool. I understand. If you're more, oh, hey, hey, bud. If you're more into Destiny th than we are, you probably want to be a part of a big clan, which we are not, and I completely understand. Uh, 
I gotcha. And there's Jake now. Look at that. One sec video is going to drop. And we're back? Question mark. My controller has been acting weird today. Um, and I've even tried both of my different controllers, but like, there's some kind of input lag going on. I don't know why. I played some uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies with a friend before doing this. Oh, did you? Oh, you did! Hey! <laughs> I, I, I literally checked like yesterday or the day before that. But you, you got me. That's awesome. Welcome to the clan. Um, yeah, um, mm, I'm not sure when a good time will be, but if you get the crew-ish, I will totally, uh, I'll totally try to join. Hey, Jake, we are live. Uh, I'm gonna give him a second to get himself Guardian, situated. The Fallen are bringing in their armory, again. You'd think they'd know better by now. Yeah, I got you, Aaron. That's dedication. I like it. Look at those caches. They never learn. Then teach them a new lesson. I just punched that guy into oblivion. It's funny. Gosh, is this how all Titans feel? Being so slow? Ish, what's your main? Not to badmouth Titans. We all need Titans. I just, it is not my playstyle. Am I the only one doing this event? I refuse to do this non-heroic. I am better than that. Give me the arc chart. Oh my god. You guys in the chat, give me a sec. I will address it when I'm not fighting for my life. Oh hey, someone else showed up. How nice of you to show up after I've done the leg work. Speaking of someone else showing up while you've there done the leg is. work. Hi everybody, I'm here. Were you waiting? that entire time for me to say something that was entry-worthy. 
Because we've been Actually, sitting in it was stunned silence. It was completely by chance. Uh, I was listening to my beautiful wife, Lee Allison, uh, retell this uh, story from a book she's reading about her favorite character dying. And so uh, I was listening to her while I was sharing socials. Um, and I couldn't quite hear you yet, but when I put my headphones on, started listening, you just happened to say, oh, look who just finally decided to show up. And I was like, am I that far behind in the stream? But I'm listening in my headset, so it, I, it wasn't. And I was uh, like, oh, that's too perfect to enter. So it's like, here it's I am. Like, uh, did you ever watch Arrested Development? Yeah, a little bit. It, but uh, I probably haven't seen the episode you're talking about. Ben Stiller is, has a character on there named Tony Wonder. And he's mm -hmm. a magician who, for the first few seasons, his entire act is based on Wonder Bread, like just loaves of bread. So mm -hmm. his main act, like his main thing, is he sits in a hiding place that you wouldn't expect and waits for someone to say the word Wonder so that he can pop out and go, Did someone say Wonder? <laughs> <laughs> and so, I like, am here. you just pulled a Tony Wonder. I just pulled a Tony Wonder. Well, I'm happy to do that. Always happy to be the Tony Wonder. Uh, Ishby, I'm looking at your comment in the chat about your Warlock you have at 385. That's freaking awesome. And we've got Ish in the clan. He joined us. Oh, yeah? Awesome. Yeah. He's Welcome better than all of us. Clan. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm about to join your fire team, uh, John. Uh, like John you, Phelps buddy. there. To I'm coming to your aid. Son of a gun. Although, Pardon I, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like uh, it's a little too too little too late, but uh, I'm I'm gonna be there to help you finish that. Oh, you finished, okay, mind. Yeah, I did, Jake. <laughs> Look, man, I'm sorry. I had to get off work. We decided to start right as I walk out of the office, so here we are. So you can probably queue up whatever uh, story mission we're gonna go. Yeah, we're just gonna go straight next. into IO. But but ish, that's great. Um, we, we love this game, and we're willing to, like, put a lot of time and stuff into it, but we're not quite that <laughs> um, with that light level. Yeah, we're not you, that. you were way ahead of us. Teach us your ways. We would, we would love that. Um, and Te maybe, teach with, us your ways, maybe Master. with him around, we can actually finally do the raid. Because we have not beaten it yet. Yeah, that's what I was just I was just about to say. We're, we're slowly but surely building a team for the raid through our, our clan, so... Yes. I'm uh, I'm excited that we may we may have to stream that at some point, um, or at the very least just do it because yeah. <laughs> I want to do the raid. Gosh dang it! I definitely want to do um, the Dreaming City raid. Hey, Aaron Forsaken. That one sounds awesome. Yeah. Uh, sorry to hear about your All controller, right. Aaron. That sucks. Oh, that stinks. What happened? It, it broke. Broke. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you missed, uh, I don't know if you were watching last night, but uh, Aaron worked on our Sims house. I, I caught up this morning because I saw that uh, in the Discord there were some comments that it uh, had happened. Uh, but I was long asleep at that point uh, after celebrating the 4th of July and our great Uncle Sam. Uh, but uh, I went back and watched a little bit of it. Yeah, it looked good. My favorite part was the, um, the blue and orange tile. <laughs> yeah, that perfect. is perfect. Yes. Perfect chortle, chortle colors. Yes. <clears throat> Alrighty. Um, so we're on. Right. We'll notice that my character is now fully leveled. Because someone could not I, wait and was impatient for the second time. I was I was very impatient, and I I max leveled my hunter, so I could get all my hunter gear. Um, so I am I'm pretty decked out now. Uh, so hopefully though, hopefully though, Stephen, the benefit here is that we'll be able to just blow through all of this. We won't have to struggle. Uh, we'll be able to move swiftly and effectively. Yes. I'm still working on my outfit though. I I I have the same cape that you do, but it's red, um, and it's I like it. I don't necessarily want to keep it, but it's the thing I like the most right now. Um, I'm I'm looking for some better gear, but I'm kind of stuck with the lucky raspberry. Gosh, my guy could not uh, be any more that's... white right now. <laughs> it looks so white. <laughs> um, but you want to stay anyways, with the lucky raspberry? I'm still working on my outfit. Yeah, I'm stuck with that, and so that kind of determines the rest of my look. So I don't know. I'm I'm fine with what I'm at right now, but I'm looking for better outfit. I saw a dude the other night who was 
he was decked out in some cool stuff. But I think it's stuff you get from the raid. Um, but I was like, oh man, this is what I want to aim for. Like I took a screenshot and everything. I was just like, I've got <laughs> this is what I want to become. Gosh, look at those baby blues. Those baby blues. What's up, Kalen? I don't know where he is. We have not seen the toothbrush resurgent yeah, in a he's, long time. He's not around. Um, to, um, I was going to say something. Oh, um, while we're just kind of small talking, uh, Jake, I beat every single boss on Absolver today. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, that's um, cool. Did yeah. you learn? Did you have you started? Do you know the drunk uh, combat? No, now? but I fought him. He was last, and that was insane. Um, because I just found him in a field after looking for quite a long time. He was just waiting right. there, swaying, and he picked up a sword, and we started fighting. And then he broke. I whipped out a sword. He broke my sword. Then I kicked his sword up in the air, and then he just pulled out another sword. It was. What have they done? It was crazy. The game's really fun, though, uh, for, especially for a free game. We're definitely going to stream it at some point. Yeah, I want to stream it at some point. I, see, all I remember about the game is being very confused and very frustrated it's with the combat. It's very overwhelming. And it's very difficult. Yeah. Yeah. It's cut through that's dark all, souls. That's all basically. I ever. Right. Yeah. But that's what I, I do like the style, and I like how. Uh, like how the combat works supposedly, I just couldn't get I couldn't get good. With I it. I um, love the combat because it, it feels punchy enough, but there are cool combos you can do where different stances flow into different moves. So like right, if you have exactly. a low sweeping kick, for example, that can dodge if you time it when someone does an upper move. So you'll sweep underneath their hit. So it's like it's a uh, yeah. it's a very um I guess um kinetic style of combat. I don't know. Right. And hello, Kaylin. Uh, let's see. Kaylin said, sorry for the message spam, Steven. I didn't you know good? you were streaming. Aaron Inter says, I appreciate you guys and all your amazing support. And Jake, your sim, was watching so much television <laughs> that he nearly passed out from hunger. I saved you. Thank you, Aaron Inter. I appreciate that. That is a real-life uh, dilemma for me, although it's video games instead of watching TV. But uh, that is a real-life problem, so I appreciate your, your uh, saving, saving grace. Uh, what do you so think Steven, of the uh, final episode of uh, XCOM, Kalen? And what were you saying, Jake? The uh, I was gonna say, uh, Steven, you remember this? You remember uh, when we were playing this and we were doing the Iron Banner, and I got a new submachine gun? Yes. And I was like, I'm gonna try this instead of what's uh, wrong? Uh, what's what's it called? Um, sweet business. Yeah. Um, I got this other one called uh, the Huckleberry, and I started using it, and I, in Iron Banner, and I was just like, oh no, hey, I don't know what's special about this, but uh, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Uh, so I've now tried that in PVE, and it's awesome. So oh, what yeah. happens is when you get a kill, uh, it reloads your your whole mag. And so, if you kill off like a bunch of smaller enemies like we're in right now, I don't have to stop and reload. Yep. So I can just constantly shoot. And it's amazing. That's pretty Why nice. Taken here? Um, and it's no kinetic, leader. and it's great. Oh. oh, that is nice that it's kinetic. What's up, Nader Gator? They are no longer fallen or high, yeah, but... having, having a good uh, kinetic submachine yeah. is great. This has been a weird week, Kalen. His goals plan to do the same, but with the light... Thank you, Kaylin. That has to be it. Uh, I assume that's was great. You rock at Steven. <laughs> <laughs> I hated great. that you I didn't rock. get to include everybody because I expected both parts of the mission to have a full party of six. Um, so I hated that people like uh, Kaylin, Vortex, um, Aaron, and Dylan didn't get to go on a mission, even Vlad. But, uh, fun fact, um, Vortex and Daniel were on a, uh, dispatch mission when we did the last mission, so we will never know if they made it back alive. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah. We're just gonna assume they died. I, yes. I, I feel like that's a fair thing to do. Um, 
So, Nader Gator just said, by the way, the guy who made 10 runes made a part two. I saw that he commented on one of our videos that he was making a part two, and Did I told really? him, yes, I, well, I assume it was him. He said, you guys are going to hate me when I make part two, and so I assume it was him. Uh, he may have just been saying, like, when he makes part two, the other, whoever it was. Anyway, I digress. I told him to send it to us, so Nader Gator, if, if you know him personally or anything, uh, send it. Make sure you send that yeah, to us. We're we, going to be streaming Far Cry this Saturday. Yes, we uh, definitely want to play it. We may have to have wait. a, a light map great. list for that night then if we're going to play another 10 rooms. Um, <laughs> um, ish. Uh, if you're still here, what subclasses do you run and what are you most excited about for in Forsaken that you've seen? Because for me, I switched to Maining Warlock just because of the Well of Radiance that's coming to the Dawnblade. All channels, this is a sky shock alert. Someone Pretty much nothing is changing for me because I'm just going to use a bow for everything now, so that's all that's really going to change. Yep. On my end, I'm probably going to stick with Arc Strider. I really hope Brody plays Destiny with us. Because you're going to be a really hard person to support outside of heals. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Well, I, I'm saying that, like, you're going to be staying back, bowing everything. And it's hard when one of my um, buffs is a melee-based buff that does I, no, nearby I allies. My, my whole, uh, my whole Arc Strider sense is built around uh, melee and grenades. Jake, when you get a bow in your hands, you're not going to do anything else. Oh, I'm going to be running up in people's faces and shooting them with a bow. That's what's going to be happening. Uh -huh. I, I, point stands. I hope Brody plays because he'll probably play Titan. And then um, that'll make it to where I can actually support somebody and make my class not pointless. I could be. I could run Artemis uh, when I play with you. We might do that. I mean, I Nate. know you love Artemis, so... Oh, Artemis is great. Nader said he could not beat the last part of the new Ten Rooms. I can't wait. I cannot wait. It's going to be so great. Okay. Let's go. On. Oh. Yeah, I think there we just we have to... Looks this like thing's going to drop, board. and then we're going to be in a portal, and then it's going to try and scattering. kill us all. Hang on. <laughs> Vlad said he got stuck, stuck in the second room. Get in my bubble. Uh, I'm not getting in your bubble. I can't shoot out of your bubble. Oh, but I do appreciate your bubble yeah. being there. The Ward of Dawn is the, 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 it's a game changer with the way they're going to be doing it with the um, the mark of the commander. I might actually play Titan some with the way they're doing it. I'm excited to try the new Titan ones and the new Warlock ones. Uh, I'm excited to try all of them, but I have a feeling I'm still going to just stick with Arch Strider because none of the other ones... I, it'll probably mix some things up on my Titan and my Warlock, but my Hunter, I feel like I'm going stick, to stick with the same thing. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh, he's about to give us an exotic gun. Or he's about to give me an exotic gun. Because Jake already went and did everything. Say, yeah, I don't know that he gave me anything exotic when I did this. Yeah, because he gives you either a Risk Runner, Graviton Lance, or Sunshot. And I cannot believe I remember the three exact guns. <laughs> uh, Aaronator said, how do you create a donation option for your channel? I've been trying to figure that out, and I can't. So, I think on YouTube there's a donation system uh and even if there was i'm pretty sure you have to hit a certain point mm. like view and sub wise before you can apply for it um if there is anything it's going to be like in your channel settings um your ship looks like a kite i know i love it it's so cool <laughs> um you're like flying but, the Wright uh, brothers plane <laughs> while the rest of us are pretty much spaceships. it's so cool um <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Aaron Air, I'd look into uh, something like uh, Streamlabs uh, is like a link you can put that people can go donate through that. Or if you stream using that, some there's some connection you can make with that. And then uh, Patreons are also a great way to 
yeah. get that access now. Uh, supposedly, there's a bunch of new YouTube integration that's going to be happening with, like, I know Teespring, which is who we're going to be using for our merch uh, later. They're going to have a lot of integration with YouTube soon. Um, I think Patreon is doing some kind of connection with it as well, but I don't know for sure. Uh, Nader Gator also said, not to spoil anything, but I made it to the 10th room and you had to use barrels, but I wanted to go back to get... Uh, C4, and when I got to the room, the barrels had despawned. Uh, cool Cat says hi. What's up, Cool Cat? Uh, Nader Gator said quit. he rage yeah. quit after that. That bums me uh, out. That's awesome. <laughs> well, we had some we had some pretty good luck doing that two player because uh, when you needed a barrel, one of us could be the barrel. Yes. So hopefully we can uh, have a little bit of that going on. Uh, Vlad says, my experience, experience of that mat was humping a pole until I was demoralized and quit. Uh, and no problem, Aaron. I, I am not, I am by no means a YouTube expert, but I have had, I have had some frustrating experiences trying to figure some things out. And uh, I, I feel like I've got a pretty decent handle on it. Um, so I'm happy to help wherever I can. Because I know it was frustrating trying to deal with it on my own originally. All right, so Steven, yes, we're both going to see Ant Man tonight. I may not be going to see Ant Man tonight. You're not? I might not be. Oh, did something got, happen? No one's. No one wants to go. <laughs> um, hey, Steven, Steven, this is why you need to just move up here to me, and I'm, and we'll go. We'll go see all the movies at the I'm same tempted. time. I'm tempted. We can do I, podcast afterwards. Yes. Immediately. And it wouldn't be difficult. Just saying. Be a fun time. It'd um, be a fun time. I I might wait till Anna can go, so I might not see it till Saturday or something. I don't know. Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. I really want to see it, but I just don't want to go see it by myself. Yeah, yeah. I've only had to go I'm to a movie expecting... once by myself, and someone else I knew showed up, so <laughs> it worked out. <laughs> it was a blessing in disguise. Yes. Um, one of my favorite movie going experiences was Toy Story. Three, uh, and it was a special deal. Uh, this was when I was uh, back where you are, Stephen. Yep. They had a special deal, deal at the theater where they showed the first two back to back, and then you saw the third one. Yeah, and it, it was me and a bunch of like, uh, ki like families and stuff. And I was like, it was the greatest, one of the greatest movie experiences of all time because they had intermissions between and stuff. Anyway, it was a ton of fun. I digress. Ant Man's gonna be cool. I've heard that it's just as good as the first one, which is rare in a sequel. Yep. And uh, I'm expecting my theory to be proven right at the end of the movie. That's really all I care about. Yeah, That's I why kinda, I want to go see it at a midnight. I kind of have to go see it because, like, I feel like you're gonna give it away. I'm, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm well, and that's the problem. Like, I was planning on after the movie calling you and being like, "Oh my God, Stephen, I was right. I was right." Or, "Oh my God, Stephen, I was wrong. I was wrong." Yeah. But I guess I'll just have to uh, wait. I might, I might just go by myself. Um. And if I'll save a seat, and uh, if anyone's like, "Oh, is this seat taken?" I'll be like, "Yeah, Ant Man sitting here. <laughs> Can't you see him?" <laughs> <laughs> good one. Good one. Yeah. Um, oh, was like, oh yeah, my experience seeing Toy Story 3. What's up, Vortex? Um, oh, hey, Vortex. Uh, but my experience seeing Toy Story 3, I think I've mentioned this before. It was actually my first date. And uh, it was real awkward. I think I was like 15. <laughs> and um, I didn't expect to be emotionally erect in that movie. And apparently... Um, this is this is what I've been told, and based on what I remember, this sounds accurate. But um, th 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 that girl and I—it was not Anna—shared uh, mutual uh, right. friends, and those mutual friends really wanted us to work out. So, like, apparently mm -hmm. they put on disguises and were in the movie with us, and. Uh, sat a few rows back, like that episode of Drake and Josh where they dress up as, like, the Amish people and are right. uh, uh, making sure Megan's date goes well. Apparently it was mm -hmm. that kind of situation. 
Um, <laughs> it was it was interesting. It was weird. That that's was back funny. when I was really awkward. Because <laughs> that's changed. I was just about to say. <laughs> I was about to be like, back when? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Um, Lee Allison commented, love going to see the movies with my husband, and then he immediately calls Steve, Steven rather than talking to me. I talk to you, Lee Allison, in, in, at, in the theater as we're waiting for the end credits. I'm already, like, spitting off theories to you. So, you know, I, I talk to you. Jake's and uh, Lee, <laughs> Lee Allison is also agreeing. Uh, Lee Allison is also agreeing with your costumes there, Steven. Somehow you ran far enough ahead that I couldn't get into the room that you're in. Oh. So I'm running away. Well, I guess so it'll John Phelps is going to have to save the day in the old American way. On this day, save July the day 5th, the, the first, old... the first day, the first day after Independence, the of America. first full day of America existing in this great the full, planet that is America. The first full day of freedom. <laughs> Uh, but that's I, I'm, I'm glad to hear that that is uh, myth confirmed Lee Allison um, That was a weird day for me I'm, I'm still I'm still I'm still close with with all of them uh, They're they're all great people and they're really really close with Anna, but I'm still friends with all of them And so it's it's just a funny story. I Love funny stories I think we've got the drill going. Oh, I always forget in this part, I always try to go back out the way we came, and it does not want you to do that. I did the um, what you're doing. I did the memories, like the um, the replay missions that Ikora gives you, so I could get that Phoenix right. band. So, and this was the mm -hmm. mission for a week, so I did it on two characters. It, it was this one and the mission we just did, so these are fresh for me. Right. Although you just did it even recenter. Yes, I just did it recenter. like a few days ago, so yeah, yeah I'm. Uh... I'm you have real no fresh. Excuse. I'm real fresh on all of it. I know all of this fresh hell. This hell is fresh. One might even say it's hella fresh. Wow. That was horrible, I'm sorry. Uh, this is when John Phelps would so be like, much. Now, son, I know here in this great nation we have the freedom of speech. But just because you can does not mean you should. Pardon my French. <laughs> uh, Ishby said, Warlock Stormcaller is my favorite subclass. Most excited about Forsaken. Believe it or not, it's the story. Uh, and hopefully change it. And hopefully the changes Bungie is making brings back a lot of people. Bro, yeah, I feel like the I'm story right there with you, is though. bringing yeah. back a lot of people. I mean, Steven, Steven's only, re like, his initial, cons like, I'm going to come back was the story. And then yeah. he saw all the things they were doing, and he's like, okay, I'm, like, loving this. So. Yeah, they, they had me the moment I saw um, Aldrin with the Ace of Spades take out Cade. That is when it became personal, and I was like, I don't care if I have to play this game as a Titan. I am killing Aldrin, <laughs> and I'm getting the Ace of Spades back. Like, and, and good on Bungie. They know that. They know exactly what they did. Because um, they, they know a lot of people in back in Destiny 1 made a, an emotional connection with Cade to such mm -hmm. a degree that a lot of them are going to pick up this game just so they can kill Ulrin. Which is brilliant. I was going to do it. Uh, but no, they just <laughs> happened to make a subclass super that is exactly, exactly what I've been what wanting. Been waiting for. Yeah. Uh, but are you, are you going to run Storm Trance? Uh, ish, or are you going to run the uh, new Kamehameha super for the Stormcaller? I love how that's what we're calling it. I mean, it it's, is. It's a very apt. It's a very apt name, but I just love that that is what we're calling it now. Oh, okay, jeez. Gee, okay, just knock me out of my special cover. Come on. You having some trouble back there? Oh my God. Okay, fine. I won't use it. Fine. You made John Phelps walk away from his cover. <laughs> no one makes John Phelps walk away. Well, here's the thing, Vlad. Cade is voiced by Nathan Fillion. And Nathan Fillion is a national treasure. I think he's Canadian, but he's still a national treasure for us. Um, <laughs> we'll claim him. We claim him. Because uh, he was the main character on Firefly, which is enough. And then he was Buck on Halo ODST, which is, again, enough. Um, and he was just really likable... He was funny, but he has the 
the character range of being funny one second, but then being really serious the next. He was just really likable. Um, Where are you was, going? I, I was still up there because I was waiting for you because I didn't know that we had gotten the thing done. So I'm now here. <laughs> This is the this is this what we're about to do is my least favorite part of the campaign. And I've had to do it by myself every time I've ever done it. Yeah. So here we are. Well, yeah, Nathan Fillion's kind of an obscure person unless if you're really into certain aspects of pop culture, especially sci-fi. Um his his most popularized mainstream role is probably uh Castle from the show Castle. To the Warmind network to begin a um, scan. Which I never watched. And, and it sounds like something that I would love, because it's like a author played by Nathan Fillion who solves crimes. That's like, why am I not watching this? <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was, it was too, uh, it wasn't serialized enough for me to where it was like, just one of those shows that doesn't really seem to go anywhere, or at least that's what I've heard. Yeah, that's, I would, that's what I would say about it. Yeah. But it's Nathan I Fillion. Hate, oh, I hate so. this boss. Get in my bubble. Ish, that's oh. probably. Ish, that's probably uh, Steven's most like quotable line that most people are ever gonna know. From yeah. Steven. That awoken douchebag prince just killed prince Cade. Just recently? killed Cade. Yeah. <laughs> I love that that quote stuck out so much because like there were eight different people pretty much in the comments of that video that quoted that line. <laughs> And there were there, there were people that showed up to a stream after that, like the first time we streamed uh, Destiny, and they were like, in quotes, that awoken douchebag prince. <laughs> uh huh. I love it. It's a great, great Stephen quote. I am quotable sometimes. Stephen, I have I mentioned that I hate this boss. You have. Have I mentioned that I love shotguns in this game? Because I just I just killed him with a shotgun. I love shotguns. That went so much better than every time I've ever done this, but I still hated it. Yeah, for me, ish, it's all about the Well of Radiance, the new Dawnblade Super. It's it, just full support, offense and defense, amazing. It's time I rejoin. Ish, the uh, we were talking on the podcast that's going to be coming up tomorrow. Uh, at 12 o'clock central we, we go through all the new supers and uh, we were just blown away by the I think it was the Titan super yeah, the, that has the void the detonators Sentinel. yeah uh, we were just like oh my god there's just gonna be bombs going off all the yeah. time I think it's called code of this commander guy. yeah and uh, yeah, uh, with that right. it, you can use the shield as normal but you also can use it as a um, ward of dawn that's just a wall that allies can shoot through Death. Which is incredible. Death. Also, this is the speaker's mic drop moment. Oh, is this where that happens? Bravery. Yes. Bravery inspires sacrifice. Sacrifice leads to death. So, feel free to kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> What's so great, everyone hated the speaker in the first game. They made him likable in this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as somebody who didn't play the first one, I was like, why did you guys not like this guy? He's awesome. Yeah, in the first one, he just kind of showed up. We could have sworn he was actually evil. Um, and he just was like, hello, Guardian. Goodbye. <laughs> like, that's basically all he did. Hey, Cool Cat. What's up, Cool Cat? And I know they a lot of criticism for this game's story say that Gaul is just kind of an exposition machine. He is, in a lot of ways, but... <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were just going to leave it at that. He is. That's all, that's all he is. Well, he, he, he is, but it's it's different from what games what this game normally would do, it, in that this game in the past has just been like, oh, you see the, you see the main villain, and then you just kind of work your way towards finding him. Like, that's how a lot of games like this do it. But with this, we get to see these expositional moments to where he becomes kind of a sympathetic for person, to where you understand mm -hmm. that he spent his entire life trying to become worthy of the light just to be told no. Uh, right. 
And so the exposition, exposition, I don't mind it because it's building us towards the final showdown to where he's become a character, not just a bullet sponge. Right, exactly. That's what I've heard too. Uh, Vlad says, Vlad says the bad guy's armor just looks like, uh, heavily makes him think of the winged uh, hussars, and he's not cool enough for this. He looks like he's going uh, to his there's wedding. A there's a Pokemon that he reminds me of, and I forget the name. Uh, I remember you showed me, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I put it in a podcast, and it's, yeah, it's it's very exactly what he looks like. Uh, cool Cat says, thanks for trying to help the other day, guys. Of course. Uh, and then, yeah, Escalation Shotgun. I don't know. I'd like to find a good exotic shotgun to have uh, in time of need. Is es is that one a exotic, Steven? I don't remember. I just know I've heard okay. people say Escalation Shotgun's really good. Keep in mind that, like, I, th I don't think I've even been playing Destiny 2 for the past month since not playing it in since November or December. Right. So, like... There's there's so much I don't understand. Figure out Masterworks uh, entirely. Same. And getting I've that got all the figured basic out. concept figured out, but, but it's mm -hmm. still, like... like my my thing is always trying to decide what I need to be working towards, mm -hmm. um, and like what 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 do I want out of it. Um, so, I, I I've just been trying to figure out what I need, but I I kind of have to figure out everything else that I want to do with my character first. So, and I want to know what kind of bows we have, and I got to get my bows picked out, and then I can start working on masterworks. Where are you, Asher? Where are you, Asher? Another one of Steven's most hated characters in this game. Oh my god, he's the worst. It's like somebody took a thesaurus and then programmed it into a character. Do you need something? <laughs> I was gonna ask, uh, was it there, wasn't there a list of people that it was like, who would you rather kill, Hawthorne, Asher, or Raul? And you were like, is there, a, is there an option that's all three? Line them up with, line them all up, and then shoot all of the bullets in the line. <laughs> all, all of them that you have. What are we supposed to do? That was a great what? question, Stephen. I think we may be. Did done Asher with not give me the exotic? He did before. Whatever. I don't think he does. He didn't give me anything. He gave me like a crappy blue. When I did it the I other can't day. I believe him. Well, I it guess actually it's probably because like... we, ha we already have it, maybe? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I, yeah, I think if you already yeah. have it, he he probably knows. Uh, I mean, he is a thesaurus, for God's sake. Yeah, no, I would kill Rahul. <laughs> I, I, would, <laughs> I would kill Rahul. Because that guy, I cannot remember the last time he's given me something that I did not immediately salvage. See, I, said, I don't mind. I don't ahead. mind having some things to salvage. No, neither do I. I. But but I expect. I, I to, need the credits. Yes, I just expect to get something out of the main re way to get gear. <laughs> Although I will say, Jake, I've got 539 legendary shards now because of all the faction rally stuff. Dude, I freaking hate you. I I am at I'm almost got 200, so I'm I'm doing oh, okay. better. You're doing good. You're I'm, doing good. I'm doing a lot better than I was. Yeah. But I'd like to have a lot more, uh, before I'm like comfortable. So really. And honestly, a lot of it is because I've been trying to find different contrary, gear, but I just can't. I like I like my legs and my arms with this lucky raspberry, uh, and I love my my helmet that I have right now. But uh, I I don't want this like I look very armored. I want something a little bit more casual. Like I have this uh, chess piece called the Insight Rover Vest that looks really sharp. It looks like I'm in a business suit. But it completely vest. clashes with everything weight, else. So uh, plus, it's a chess piece, and I need my chess piece. So I don't know. I'm 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 in the market for for new for new armor 
uh, and new stuff. Oh, this is where the chicken happens. Yes. No I love the chicken. Back. It's worth it. I got a Destiny loot crate a few, uh, I, I ordered it almost a year ago when Destiny 1 came out, and it just now came in, uh, but one of the rewards was a pin that's, uh, Cade holding his chicken, and it's cool, and I like it. Not really into capes. Clearly. Nice poncho. You need to get your team into the city without... See, I still them. think they're going to replace Cade with her so somehow. Pissed. I will be so pissed if they do. Also happen to be pretty so pissed. Guys. I also, I also think, line, though, that we may bring Cade back. Fight. Because number one, a, like, a he's awesome and I don't want to lose him. But also, I think there is a lot to be said about... Sacrifice? People are going to come back to the game to simply to avenge Cade, mm -hmm. but if he's still here, they're going to want to stay. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I, I think I, it's it's I, still possible. I think, it's I think he's going to stay dead. I I think they've Guardian emphasized too much that he's going to stay dead. That if they went back on that, it'd get too much backlash. Yeah, I still think Shiro is going to be yeah. the Hunter Vanguard. That that I I agree with that too. But I, you never know. You never yeah. know. Uh, Vlad, yes, I bought it a year ago and it just arrived. When I pre-ordered it, uh, it was a Destiny special loot crate uh, that was like just, it wasn't part of like the monthly loot crate, it was just kind of a special, uh, it was supposed to be bigger uh, and everything. I ordered it when the game, it was like, it was like four or so months after the game came out uh, that I ordered it and it was supposed to come in like a month later. Uh, and then it got pushed back, and it got pushed back, and it got pushed back to the point that I completely forgot I ordered it. And then <laughs> it showed up, and I was like, oh, cool, I don't even play this game anymore. Uh, and then they announced Forsaken, so I was like, all right, great, I'm going to start playing this game again. Yeah. That's like the um, the Sentinels of the Multiverse expansions that they've come out with this, this uh, summer. Um, yeah. There is a, the Obliv uh, Oblivion, or B Oblivion, sorry, um, expansion, which is the one that ends the card game, comes out I think next mm -hmm. month. But if I order it now, I don't think it'll be here till March, <laughs> um, because they're back ordered oh, so much. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty bad. That's funny, Vlad. I should have, but I was honestly just too lazy. And yep. honestly, what it was was it was supposed to come out, a, you know, a few months later, and then it just never did. And I kept getting I, I don't even know that I got emails saying it got pushed back. I just, I literally just kind of let it ride and forgot about it. And uh, eventually I got an email saying it's finally shipping. I don't know what the deal was. I'm sure they got a lot of complaints from it. In fact, I, I almost wonder that it didn't hurt Loot Crate because I usually get emails once a week from Loot Crate saying, hey, we want you to join back. We want you to join back. And ever since I got that loot box, I was like, I realized that I hadn't heard from Loot Box in like half a year. So... <laughs> I don't know what's happened to, to loot box. All right, what do we have to do now? You just got to talk to people. Yep, and then the next mission. Okay, great. Well, while you do that, I'm gonna undo. I'm gonna do a legendary shard that I have that or whatever. The way. One of Gaul's buddies runs it. Okay, Hawthorne. What if uh, Kate's chicken becomes the next vanguard? Oh my god, real talk though, that would be great. No, it would not. <laughs> I would absolutely love that. You ever figure procrastination is your brain's way of stopping you from making a terrible mistake? Here's a plot twist for you, Steven. What if you became the hunter guard? Like, what if we find Cade in his last dying wish? He dares us. Strikes will soon. Oh, that would be funny. But only but only to the people who play as hunters. <laughs> How crazy would that be? Honestly, I, I if if the game told me like, hey, you have the opportunity to sacrifice your hunter right now and make him the hunter vanguard because Cade dared you, I would do it. Oh damn, damn, damn! It's too much. It's too much. I I, I that's that hurts me inside. I'm like crying. What? I just that I would get emotional. I, yeah. I I would do it. I mean, for one, I'm a main warlock now. But still, like, I would do it just because <laughs> that same hunter is the one that I played through D1 with. Like, it imported him right. over. So it's like, there's sentimental value there. Where he's the one that got trained by Cade. 
back in 2015. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, man. Too much. All right. <sighs> Steven, I need like 300 bright dust to freaking get the new, the emote that's going right now. Better start salvaging the, some shaders. I did. I went through, I deleted every single shader that gave me bright dust. <laughs> every uh, single one that I had. Nader is uploading cute birds. I didn't know you're still working on oh, that. Oh, heck yeah. We're going to have a great, this is going to be a, this is going to be a great Far Cry arcade. Yes. See, this is why we have to take a break for a little while. We have to let, let a lot of things soak up and, and, work up and then it's just like one big boom at the end when we jump back in mm, yep uh. hmm. oh my gosh it's raining it's so this has been a very wet summer yes I feel like it's rained every day for the last month It has not been that rainy here. I wish it had been that rainy in here. I love the rain. I love the rain. I'm cool with that, lad. Kaylin, I hope you're taking note of these. <laughs> Kaylin! Kaylin! Take note. Kaylin is like my right, Far we're... Cry secretary. <laughs> He My takes all the notes second. and he's like, "Hey, hey, Stephen, we got a, uh, we've got Far Cry that day, and here's the list. Thank you, Kalen. I, I tried to follow you, but I didn't realize what I was gonna, what was gonna require me to cross that. So I just kind of died. Hey, uh, Stephen, I got a HIV over here. You've got to stop calling. It that. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a high value target right here, there Stephen. You go. I don't even know that I need you though to take care of it." Look at old, look at old Phelps, pulling his weight. I had to reload. And that's that is saying the one something. Thing about... I've put on a few, because that's my freedom oh, wow. to do so as an American citizen of this great country. God bless America. God bless America. And God bless Grandma's apple pie. God bless Grandma's apple pie. Oh man. I love, I love it. <laughs> Flat said the forests are filled with HIV. <laughs> One of oh, my favorite, man. Th this is just a random thing that I thought of, thinking of different Captain America things to say, but in mm -hmm. the Ultimates universe, um, right? which I, it's, I guess it's the Ultimate universe in the, in the Marvel comic universe, uh, there mm -hmm. was a series called The Ultimates, which was their version of the Avengers, and that's mm -hmm. what a lot of the MCU is based on in there where uh, it's one of the first times you see Captain America and he's uh, they're telling him he's about to jump out of a helicopter or a plane or something kind of like he does in Winter Soldier but they're like but Captain you don't have a shoot and and there are a lot of enemies down there we, we, we need to retreat and then Captain America turns and goes retreat and then points to his head and goes do you think this A stands for France <laughs> and then he jumps out of the airplane <laughs> You think this A stands for France? No. Steven, we can we can ride speeders on this. But seriously, look it up. He says, do you think this A stands for France? And it's like, there's so much wrong with that statement, but it's so good. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I think I'm out leveled for this mission, so you're gonna have to drag me. Oh, don't worry. Oh, it's tank time. I was gonna say a lot. I was gonna say a lot of these these later levels are all just like tanks. Like here's a tank, a tank for you, a tank for you, a tank for you, and they never do it. Like I don't know. I feel like I'm in a tank half the time for the for the final mission stuff. But anyway, you just clear a path with your tank, and I'm just gonna follow behind with my sparrow. How's that sound? Sounds good. Although, keep in mind, I am taking increased damage because I am underleveled, so... <laughs> hey, clear me a path. Or, or open up the path. I mean. 
Here, I'm gonna get a tank. I'm gonna start blowing stuff up. Uh, that was the first Captain America movie. Uh, first Avenger. Guardian, holler my way if you need another one of these armored beauties. Any more where that came from? The Captain America movies are the ones that probably feel the least like superhero movies. Um, and f they really... They're better for it. Yeah, I feel like Marvel tries to make all of their movies feel a little bit different from your average yeah superhero well especially movie. now because like they weren't trying that uh, that as much during the Iron Man days early on but right now each movie feels kind of like a different genre mm -hmm. or at least a different subgenre Jake you were way ahead of me yeah I am Sorry, it's because I it's because I rode like halfway to the objective on a speeder, uh, and then you were like, "Clear a path for me," and I was like, "Oh, uh, <laughs> sure, I'll do that." The override should be nearby. It's about time you showed up, John. Um, what are you doing? I was seeing which tank had more health. <laughs> so oh, I could wow. take the more health to tank. Are you doing the thing? I'll do the thing. I'm expecting I was you waiting for you because I figured you no, didn't want I'm, me to do the thing I don't, I want without you. To do you the but thing. No. I'm doing the thing now. Yeah, I figured that was part of it, Vlad. Winter Soldier was really good. Uh, that's the second Captain America movie, so I, uh, if you haven't seen that one, I think you might like it. Because it feels like more of a political thriller. Political thriller! Are you opening the door? The door Steven, the door is opening, okay? God bless America. Yes, indeed. I love how you tried to shoot me. I did. I did not try. I did shoot you. Well, you missed me. <laughs> no, I, I did were... I don't think you hit me. I hit you, but it just doesn't matter because this game will not hear you. Ah. Maybe that's the difference. Uh, are we getting anything in the chat? Because oh, my. Of course the Red Legion have tanks too. Uh, the last thing I saw was Vlad said, and the cows are adorable. Or that. that cow's adorable. I had to bail from the tank. Was it your tank that blew up? Or mine? Because I think it was just mine. Uh, well, I'm not in my tank, so. Yeah, it was. it was mine. Mine. mine blew up, yours didn't. But I'm in yours now. And it blew up. <laughs> Alright, I'm running. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, why'd you do that? You just made me go out in the middle of nowhere. Well, they've retracted the bridge. They're not going to be able to cross that gap. Gosh, my, my iPad is not Woo. being very nice right now. Oh. I couldn't move fast enough. I could use some help because I'm working on it. I'm trying to help. There, jeez. The only thing about this gun is it's not very good at range. Which gun? Uh it's called the Huckleberry. It's this machine oh, yeah. gun that I was telling you about. Yeah. It's the only bad thing about it. My side, it, my side arm actually has better range than it does. Wow.
There's probably a way to extend the bridge. Let's You're extending the bridge, it. right? I'm working on it. Okay. Dan, Steven is like, you're so expectant. I am. You made the mistake of leveling ahead of me, so now you're doing all the work while I sit down here and pretend I'm in traffic driving a car. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very nice. I'm trying to think of the good old days when I was on my way to my accounting firm. Uh, not having to worry about... Uh, All right, I had to worry about right. Was the way. All I had to worry about was that the American way was held up and that taxes were paid. Oh, good. It spawned me. Great. Yep. Hmm. I found myself in a really weird place, Stephen. Well, that's good. Don't die for the next 15 seconds. Don't die for the next 15 mm -hmm. seconds. Boom. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, the the error was, Stephen, that we didn't pick up a Drake before we walked in there. That was our mistake number one. Okay, this level was meant to be played as a tank. So this is like Drake Bell, Drake the Rapper, Drake. I'm gonna Malfoy. go with Drake Bell. Speeder or my sparrow. You can't, you can't shoot with sparrow. I can't. And my sparrow doesn't have a cool dragon painting at the back of it. That is true. That's why they call it a dray. Mm-hmm. No, oh, we're about to kill one of the chosen. I thought I killed all them already. <laughs> wow. That was that was a great joke there, Steve. Thank you. Yeah, there's there's something wrong with If you guys can uh someone say something in the chat real quick, just so I know that it's still working, because I can't actually the, the video won't catch up for me. It's just stuck buffering on my iPad. see those generators? I've got my laptop or I've got my computer going and I haven't seen any thing in a while. <laughs> Vlad just said penis. Thank you, Vlad. Perfect. Thank you. Right on time. Gave him the golden opportunity. Say something in the chat. Anything will work. One generator down. Too easy. Have you seen that vine of that kid rolling on like that that three wheeler? Or like it's a, he rolls in on something that's like too small for him, and they're like, "Hey, what's the good word?" And he just scoots in and goes penis and then just rides <laughs> off no or well, maybe I have I think I have uh, I was thinking I, I don't know why my head went to the one of uh, it's it's a spoof off Harry Potter and it's where they've got the invisibility cloak and Harry puts it on and all you see is his head and uh, somebody dubbed over it where instead of Harry saying whatever he says he goes my dick fell off it's one of my favorites <laughs> That one. Pina Oreo. Hashtag Pina Oreo. Alright, uh, we gotta shoot missiles at the thing. I'm sorry, what? We gotta shoot missiles at the thing. I'm about to die. Oh, you're about to blow up now, great. I'm, I'm, oh my god, Jake. I got run over. I got run over, Steven. Oh! <laughs> oh my 
god. <laughs> that was great. It's on now. Oh shit. Oh. Show those guys. I did. Go run over their interceptors with the most disrespect I possibly can. I got I the, the mistake. I got the Goliath. Out. The Goliath? Is that the is that the big tank? Big tank, yeah. Sweet. Kalen wants to know what is XCOM uh, Tales from the Deep DLC. Tears Terror from the Deep. So um, Stowe reminded me of this. What's that, Jordan um, the Polar Bear? Oh hey. Jordan the Polar Bear. I don't think we've seen you before, but thank you for He said, here. hello, the polar bear is in the house. I love it. Um, That's a great icebreaker. Yeah. About polar uh, bears. The, the, best ice, uh, the best icebreaker, though, is how much does it take... How, <laughs> how much, how does, much a does a polar, polar bear, bear weigh? weigh? That's what it is, yeah. I have no enough idea, but it's enough ice. to break the ice. Yeah. I, hi, I'm Jake. Yep. Um, you can... Hey, polar bear, next time you want to jump in a chat, you can use that. Yes. Um, what were you going to say about Tales of the Deep or Terrors of the Deep? Terror too? from the um, expansion from... I think it's an expansion. It might be a standalone game. But like I said, I never played classic XCOM. I own them, but it's just hard to go back. Um, and it was one that took place underwater. Um, and so they it looks like they're teasing the next XCOM could, could be that, which is interesting. Would not have guessed that. You're welcome, Polar Bear. That's what I'm here for. So what brought you here, Polar Bear? Jordan, the Polar Bear? Do you prefer Polar Bear or Jordan? Or both? <laughs> Are you one of those guys that's like, nope, don't shorthand my name. I have a full name. Use it. <laughs> he started the mission, Steven, right as I was opening a chest. Well, darn. I bet there was an Ingram in that. What's up, Joseph? Kalen's friend. Hello, Joseph. I have a friend named Joseph. I do have a friend named Joseph. Is it the same Joseph or a different Joseph? I'm imagining it's the same Joseph, but I could be wrong. It probably is the same Joseph. Okay, fine. You gotta Jake take got down the unbroken. So, so we're just gonna sparrow the way there. Okay. Why wouldn't you? The delay of giving a sparrow was the greatest mistake in this campaign. The greatest mistake. In my mind, yes, it was the greatest mistake of this campaign. I am still out leveled, by the way. So I'm yeah, I'm, I'm struggling too here, so... How are you struggling? Because I struggle, Steven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's part of my MO. Oh, uh, I will blame the iPad for the crappy quality of the stream that I'm getting on the iPad. Because when everyone else seems to be having just a fine time actually watching it, and yet, I'm over here, and mine is stuck on the shot from when I got killed by those war dogs. Then I am going to blame the iPad, because clearly it's the iPad's fault. That is not sarcastic. That actually is the iPad's fault. Holy moly. I hate the strike. I'm pretty sure it's a strike where you have to fight a boss right here in this room. Yeah, it's a tank. It's 
it's not fun. The bridge should be above us. Let's find a console and dig up the schematics. Something is going on outside. Hey, yeah, Vlad's right. It Let's could be, Google. he said, uh, it could be your internet not handling an online game, broadcasting, and stream all at once. Well, see, here's the thing. If it was an internet issue, it would at least be trying to reconnect, but it's not. It's just stuck buffering, and it wouldn't be as consistently unable to load as it has been. It's the iPad doing something. If there's an expert around here of why Apple products are terrible, it's it's yours truly. So, so I think I'll uh, I think I'll uh, trust my word on this one. So, Kalen, I know you directed that at Steven, but I, I imagine Steven does not know the answer to that question. Am I wrong, Steven? Which thought is that? Um, like one of those cam girls that tries to be sexy doing everything they do just to get well food. it's it's a derogatory term for that yes yeah. so i thought i, thought I, he I was wouldn't asking, recommend using it yeah I, I thought he was asking about uh thought bots again because that's one of my favorites wish i could be out there with is, uh, a thought bot it's it's what our friend tyler uh came up with for um you know those fake accounts on social media that have like the girls with the cleavage and everything, but it's actually just a spam account? Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, it's a thought bot. Thought bot. But we all, we all have that one friend who is still friends with them, just in case. <laughs> With one of those spam accounts? Just yeah, they're they're friends with one of the spam accounts because they fell for it, or it's you know just in case this is some attractive chick who's a looking real for thing. friends. Yeah, <laughs> and that's how we all find the thought bots is because we all have that one friend on our friends list who falls for the thought bot every single time. <laughs> Interesting. Thought bots are always harassing Vlad. I believe it. I can believe that too. Oh, maybe it's up here. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're going the right way. Almost to the hangar. Why do you ask, Caleb? Right now, Thumos will know you're coming for About it. the Twitch thoughts. Expect a welcoming party in there. Holiday, are you in range for an assist? Winging back around. Gotta shake a couple of these red uglies off my tail first. Uh, no, Vlad. <laughs> We're not judging you for being targeted by thought bots. We just understand how the, media, we understand your struggle because it yes. happens all the time. It's, it, they're, they're around. They they are a problem, and they must be dealt with accordingly. What does John Phelps feel about that, Stephen? Does he think it's one of the great American problems? Uh, you know, what? John Phelps thinks that um, it's a thought bot's right to be a thought bot because in this great country we don't discriminate um, <laughs> rights or liberties or the American. Well way. said. Well said. Um, he also likes him thick. So, John. John, John likes him. John thick. likes him thick. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and that's his God-given American right. That's his God-given American right to like him thick with two C's, no case. <laughs> <laughs> like him thick, two C's, and no case, boys. <laughs> this great state of America, we can do that. America, best planet on this planet. This best planet on this planet. Oh, okay. What the actual hell just happened? What? Did you just shoot some sort of, like, void bomb or something? Yeah. Oh my god, thank god that was you. I was about to have a heart attack that there was some part of my gun that I didn't understand that I could suddenly shoot void bombs for no reason. I just I was, I was gonna, like, be so excited. I just described thought bots, Caitlin. But, um, if you ask John Phelps, he would say... Thought bots are just a one, another one of those things that make America so great. 
and if you told him, um, but, but John, that's a problem across the internet. That's a global thing. And John will look at you and go, global? What? <laughs> global? America? <laughs> like, <laughs> Do you mean America, good America sir? America in question marks and cock his head because he does not understand concepts that reach outside of this great country. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, that gummit, Steven, every time. What? I was standing at that door. I turned around to see where you were. As I turn, you run past me the other way, and then I walk, I walk out of that spot, and then I get locked behind the door. So here I am. I am literally stuck in a corridor, Steven. Come back towards the door that you entered in. I, I can't do anything about it, Jake. Can you stand by this door? I, I can stand by the door. But Are you standing by the door right I'm now? I'm standing by the door. Oh my god. I'm trapped here. Uh, yeah, says the one that's not trapped with the boss inside the... Oh, whatever. Whose fault was that, Steven? Whose fault? It was yours. Uh, it was yours for not keeping up with me. I was in front of you and you ran past me and then locked the door Sounds behind like me. someone got some cold feet and would not keep up with the mission. <sighs> I'm literally <laughs> I'm sitting. I'm sitting in this corner. I hope I hope at some point you can see me here because in fact, I'm going to take a picture and send it to you because this is, this is pretty much what I'm doing. He doesn't think these are aliens. He thinks they're communists. Yes. Uh, Vlad, um, John bleeds red, white, and blue. Like, that's, that's, that's a fact. You mean to tell me that he would not like him thick with two C's no K's because it's unhealthy to be overweight? Have you seen an American citizen before? <laughs> They bleed brown gravy, basically, because that's what it means to be Jake. Walk Damn in, it, Jake. Steven. Oh my god, Jake. Oh my god. That was your fault. I was sending you a picture of what I was doing. I don't. Well, now Damn. you get to do it some more. Want to send me another picture, Jake? <laughs> I might as well. Gosh, you got to do all the work. I'm under leveled, Jake. I know, I know. You're doing a great job. Thank you. You did a hell of a job, Guardian. I'm gonna spread the word. Thumos is gone for good. Whoa, careful there, Kaylin. Edging, edging over there in the chat. Better not, <laughs> uh, better not do that. <laughs> He's talking politics. I'm like horrible at politics. Yeah, so am I. You know, whenever people start talking politics, I just am like, Phew. that's not for me. You know, it is for me. Pina Col. I love. Yep. In this great state of America, pina colada Oreos are the best thing. <laughs> You're edgy now, uh, Kaylin. You can be cool. Good job, cool. you did it. <laughs> you did it. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, I think I just killed one of these uh, Cabal, and I'm pretty sure he was on his knees praying. And I've never seen that before in this wow. game. I have no idea what was happening, but it wow. happened, and I just did it, and I feel horrible. Alright. Not to, like, bum out the party or anything, Steven, but some of us are going to see... Uh, Ant-Man tonight, and are gonna have to get off in about 10 minutes. 
Yep. And I imagine the next mission will not be completed in 10 minutes. You are probably correct. Do you have patrols unlocked? We can walk around here and do some patrols. We could do some patrols. Uh, is there any... Could patrols, we... So. We could go to a... Uh, we could go to a flashpoint. I don't have flashpoints. Or not a flashpoint. A public, a public event, if anything's going on. Okay, There's something in the gulch. Where are we? Trostlin's got something. Let's just go there. All right, Trostlin it is. Still trying to decide whether or not I want to go. Is your call, man. I'm probably just going to wait for Anna. That's probably a wise decision. And I, I, I don't say that as if it's like, oh, Anna, get your act together, come watch a movie. No. I just... Um, uh, I I don't know if I even feel like going to see a movie tonight. I guess that's it. I don't know. I can understand that. I just have to find something else to do to bide my time. Bide, bide your time. I mean, by all means, you could continue to stream the story if you'd like, uh, just without me. Um, if you'd prefer to do that. I would not live. <laughs> well, if you left, if you left, uh, if I left your party, it wouldn't scale you that high, would it? No, I think I'm just under level for the missions themselves. I have heard of a scout cut off by enemy patrols. If you could see to clearing a way home, I'd be ever so grateful. I'm reading a skiff with Glimmer mining equipment aboard, Guardian. Interested? I'm always interested in a Glimmer expedition. Man. We'll teach them not to dig around here. I have full confidence in you. Ooh, I legendary from that. Cool. Nice. Get that drill. Or that thing. Oh, I'm getting it. Don't worry, I'm lighting into this fish. Ah, oh, I've been hit. Ah. Uh. Have you been hit? I've been hit. Down? Oh, this is uh, this is uh, HVT. Shotguns, man. Shotguns, man. They're great. Treasure chest right here. I probably won't stream it. Well, I probably won't stream anything. Um, once uh, Jake gets off, I'll probably just... I don't know. I would take a break, because we're going to be crazy this weekend. <laughs> I agree. We're filming a lot of Let's Play content. There's going to be a lot of going on. Just prepare your yourself mentally for that. Uh, we're we're coming to a close, Kalen, but uh, not quite yet. We're not gonna do any Far Cry 3. We're gonna save that for when we need it. <laughs> um, save it for when we need it. Which will probably be soon. So at least there's that. Ah, ah, ah! Get the thing. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about the drill. Mm. Don't know why. I'm becoming one of those Destiny players that I hate, see? <laughs> yeah. Look at what I've become. How the hell? I think a thing fell on me. Well, I supered and then got punched in the face and died, so... <laughs> that makes me feel a little better. That's that's where I'm at, and I didn't get my super back, so... That's how I'm feeling right now. That's not what I wanted to do, game! Thanks! Alright, stay on the thing. I'm, I'm literally just standing on the thing, spinning, and shooting. 
Well, we don't have my Ward of Dawn now for the big guy that's going to probably kill us. Uh, speaking of big guys, probably gonna kill us. He's, he's probably coming here, so uh, you would be so kind. Go, uh, yeah, aggress him. I don't have a super. Oh, I just got it. Here we go. Okay. Went out in a blaze of glory right there. That's what just happened. Uh, I'm gonna die. Just kill him and then Not let's get I back on the my point. way. Shotguns, man! All right. They're going to send another right, captain hopefully... hopes first, but nothing quite like that. I will not be choosing no. the sexy ending, Vlad. I think you knew that, though. The sexy ending? For Far Cry 3. Ah. Uh, um, that's right, the ending. I know, I, know what, I know what you're talking about. I know what okay. you're talking about. Yeah. I'm so close to getting a Brian Ingram, Steven. Let's taste it. Did we do it? Oh, I got one. I got one, Steven. I got one. Hey. Oh, All right, let's go to the All tower. Right. I'll do a wrap while I get my emote, hopefully. Awesome. It is the most awkward way to end a game, Vlad. <laughs> the sexy ending of Far Cry 3? It is. Absolutely. Well, it's not exactly a happy ending, Kalen. <laughs> it's, no, it's not. It's not. It's, it's not really at all. not, though. It's, it's not really at dark. All. It's really uncomfortable, and then it's even more uncomfortable. It's just bad. <laughs> it's just bad all the way around. Okay. So, Jake, um... Yeah? Even if I don't go see Ant-Man and the Wasp tonight... Mm-hmm. You, you have free reign to call me and talk to me about it. Aww. Spoil spoilers and all. I don't care. It's an Ant-Man movie. I think... Uh, honestly, the only thing I'm gonna want to talk about is the end, uh, like the the end credits scene. So, hopefully, that won't spoil the actual Ant Man movie for you. Yeah, I but imagine the only I thing imagine you're it will have is like the Infinity War connections. Yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll see. I'll try not to. I may be disappointed and there not be anything, but it's gonna connect to Infinity War. Regardless, uh, I'm calling it now. The way it's gonna end is. He's going to be talking to his daughter, and she's going to fade to dust. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. honestly, that's kind of what I'm expecting. Or he's going to have a new Antony, and he's going to be hanging out with Antony, and Antony's going to talk to him and ant and say the ant for, Scott, I don't feel so good, and then he's going to fade to dust. I, I don't think... Uh, that is going to happen exactly, but uh, I, I think Anthony Anthony is going to get eaten by a seagull. I've already seen this in the trailer. Uh, in fact, I think like three or four of them do. So I think Anthony is Anthony is long gone. All right, I didn't get what I wanted specifically, but I'm going to burn everything she gave me and see if that'll get me to where I want to be. All right, while I do that though. Uh, thank you guys for watching and tuning in. Uh, this is where we're going to end the stream tonight. Um, uh, we've got a podcast coming out tomorrow at 
uh, 12 o'clock central time. So you'll want to check that out. Um, we also uh, will have two streams tomorrow night. Uh, I think they're both up in the air. So I've talked about doing uh, Shadow of War. Uh, one of them will be me solo, and then one of them will st be me and Steven. Uh, and we're still debating on that. So I'm going to put up a Twitter poll uh, probably tomorrow uh, and ask what people want to see from both of those. We may pull and Discord then, of course, well. Saturday, we'll... say again. We may need to pull Discord as well. Yeah, yeah, I'll pull Discord as well. Um, but uh, yes, we will have both of those. And then two streams Saturday. One's going to be Far Cry Arcade, and the other's going to be Division with them, Friendly Fire Games boys. Yes. And sometimes girl, uh, Kalen, you don't have a you don't have a uh, Twitter, right? I'll you just can vote in the Discord. I'll I'll let Kaylin everybody say Discord what they prefer. Either. Kalen, I will message oh, you, you the options on PlayStation, and you will give me your vote. I will I will yeah. calculate it in. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, and then of course Monday we have What's Let's up, Plays, and t Wednesdays we have Let's Plays. Tuesday, Stephen, and is now going to be Team Up Tuesdays. And Steven, I was wondering if that might be a good for Team Up Tuesdays. What if we just did a short series on Destiny until we finish what we needed to finish? Um, or good. if it just becomes Destiny Tuesdays, like Team Up Tuesdays on Destiny. Uh, I think that might be a fun idea. I, but anyway. Yeah, that's... that's... Um, so yeah, if you're not subscribed to us, subscribe to us. That's the easiest way to keep up with what we're doing. We get six days of content six days a week, so there's lots of great stuff uh, that we're doing. So you can subscribe and hang out and check us check us out. Uh, Discord and Twitch and all that stuff should be in the chat or in the in the description. Uh, if it's not, you can go to our, our main page and find it there. So be sure to do that <laughs> and stay involved. And that's it. I love Steven's doing his floss dance as we sign out. I, I took so, off the helmet so you can look him in the eye as he does it. <laughs> he's so American. He is. It's just too this too too much America American there. Is. Yeah. This, um, <laughs> this is what it is now. Yes. All right. I've got to go catch my movie. So I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>